Hey everybody, welcome back to DERPT, the Dimensional Expedition Research Projects Department. We are taking another look at the Blue Ridge Overland Gear bum bag. This is version 2.0. I have been using it for months now. Um, I don't really wear it on myself very often. It's usually just in my bag and it has become a secondary supplemental bag for all this stuff in it that uh, is no longer necessarily carried around on me every day. I have a new solution for my everyday carry and I actually want to repurpose this one again. So I want to show you what I've been carrying in it as version 2.0 before I move on to version 3.0 which is going to be something completely different. So let's take a quick look at it here. I got some more all patches here. I don't have a really great selection. I got my Q patch here, my uh, Christian American patch, and the Skull and Bones Pirate patch, which is seems a little contradictive, but I got the whole gamut here, and I don't have a great selection of more all patches in the first place. So if uh, you want to send me more all patches, that's always nice. So let's take a look at what's inside. Right off the bat on the top, now I'm going to have links to all these in the description down below now. So please, if you like what you see here and you want to check one of them out, use my affiliate link uh, in the description for the item and I get a little kickback. That's a great way to support the show if you like what I'm doing, if you like the things I'm showing off and you want to see more. First off, the handkerchief. There it is. Always got one of those on me. This is a newer item that I got in here that I really like. It's a next tool uh, utensil. We got a fork and a spoon here. Now I use this spoon all the time. It's actually a really nice spoon. And uh, the fork I haven't had a chance to use, but it slides right in like that. And then they hook on the bottom there. Nice and thin, easy to carry. Got that with me all the time. The little first aid kit I showed you before is still in here. I just made sure that it has band-aids, some um, alcohol prep pads, we got antiseptic towelettes, a little bit of gauze in here, antiseptic wipe, you know, band-aids, the basics. Really simple stuff, nice to have on you. You all saw before the battery, the 5,000 milliamp battery, good for just recharging the phone really quick. Uh, and it barely takes up any space, it's like three inches by an inch. And, uh, Good enough if you're in a bind. I also have the the lever charging cable in here as well, which works with all, all the different devices. So it's a little charging kit here. Gotta stay powered up. Again, this has become a secondary bag where I have uh, all this stuff just hanging out because I have a new everyday solution right over here, which I'm gonna be showing in another video that uh, takes care of all my podcasting and content creation stuff and I'll show you guys that in another video. Here's the lighter again, the lighter bro case. Uh, it's got like multi-tool functionality and uh, it's got like scissors and a knife and a bottle opener at the bottom here. I got a ranger band holding down the jute. Uh, the wa This is, what is it? It's like bee wax. The, the wax, wax jute essentially. So I got a extended wick here, which is nice. And you wanna just keep the flame going longer. So we'll spread them out like this so you can see everything like so. <laughs> All right, in here I also have this awesome Gerber uh, pry bar, it's a pry bar and it's an exacto knife as well as a cord cutter right here or a seatbelt cutter and then a bottle opener. So there's like four different tools here. This thing's really useful. I find myself pulling that out and using it often. Uh, I want to show you off things that I just threw this in here because it was lying around. It's one of those extension uh, magnets. Pick up metal objects with it in case you drop it down. But between somewhere or in your engine. It's a simple tool, but I threw that in there. Dental floss. This stuff stuck in your teeth, it sucks. 
Um, I put in my uh, Falcon Niven. Falcon Niven. This is the DC4 sharpening stone. It's for keeping all my blades in good condition. It's got the ceramic side and a diamond side for all your sharpening needs. This thing is great, really slim profile. Stow that away in there. I have my Sofren SC1 Pro. Showed you this in the last video as well, along with its diffuser tip. Makes a nice lantern. This has a SOS, it has a strobe mode. Or no, it has three different modes, I think. Does it have a strobe? I can't recall if it has a strobe. It's a very good basic flashlight for 40 bucks with the 18650 battery in it. Gets the job done. Nice to have a good flashlight on hand. Up in the top here, I have this SOG tool. It's got a window breaker here. It's got an emergency whistle. And on the inside is a ferro rod fire starter. So nice little survival tool here, multi-tool. I have a Sharpie Industrial Super Permanent Ink Sharpie in here. Always good to have a Sharpie on hand to mark things, to write notes. I put this Night Eyes S Binder. Can hold up to 75 pounds. It's not for climbing though. Got this in here in case I need to hang something. Nice to have. On this little spool here, I have micro cord, which has a strength of 50 pounds, tensile strength of, no, it was 100 pounds, I believe. Uh, I'll double check that, but uh, nice to have some actual cordage. So I got that in here. All right, on this keychain here, I have the titanium tape measure that I showed you guys last time. I'll have a link to, like I said, I'll have a link to a lot of these things in the description below. So if you like them, check them out. We have the Max earplugs, in case uh, someone else with me needs earplugs, because I have my regular earplugs. Here's just some normal foam earplugs in here. Keep your hearing protected. I have, this here is a eyeglasses repair kit screwdriver. I'm not gonna undo it. It comes apart in two different parts, the flathead and the Phillips for your, uh, for your eyeglasses. This is a little bullet lighter. Probably need to refill this with Zippo fluid. Whoa. It's a little, oh no, it needs flint. That's what it is. But uh, it's a little bullet lighter. I just gotta replace the flint on that. And last but not least is this one, which is kind of freaky and weird, but it's a titanium toothpick. So just a, a super sharp Super sharp little piece of metal to toothpick, but I'd be careful sticking that in your mouth. But uh, I gave one to my brother for Christmas and he said he uses it all the time, so pretty useful. So that's just a keychain with a bunch of little items that I had in there. All right, I have this Mr. Green nail clippers tool, which I used not too long ago. They got the nail clippers here and then as well as on it, it comes with some scissors, always useful. And then we have a, uh, there's a file here, a screwdriver, bottle opener, and a blade. So it's a pretty useful little uh, hygiene tool right here overall. On Mr. Green Nail Clippers. I have a chapstick with some <laughs> with some tape on it. Standard. I threw this tool in here. It's a seat belt cutter and glass breaker. Emergency escape tool. Uh, again, I'm just carrying this around with me. I'm still going to sort it out. I'm going to make this a version 3.0. Last but not least in there is this uh, Hydro Blue. Come on, focus. Hydro Blue uh, Life Straw. So this is like the life straw. You pop the bottom here. You stick this part, or stick this part in your mouth, this part in the water, and you could drink and filter the water. So I have a way of filtering water. 
So that's all that's in here. Again, the, inside here are these panels. I'll have a link to these panels as well. But these panels help to organize this, but if I take the panels out, it's just a, it's just an open pouch. Totally love this bum bag. This thing kicks ass. I suggest you get one if you don't have one. Look at all the stuff it was carrying. So this has become what I've carried inside here. It's been bum bag 2.0. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to uh, redo it again. Some of these items are gonna go out, some are gonna come in and uh, some new items. I'm gonna make it more of a survival kit, like an urban 24 hour survival kit with like maybe shelter and the, this will probably be in there and probably have the lair. There'll be a lot of these items still in there most likely, but it's gonna become specifically for like a survival scenario. And then I have a solution that I've been using for my everyday carry and all my content creation is this thing here the alpaca tech case. And I will show you what's in my alpaca tech case in the next video. If you'd like to see that, please give me a like, subscribe if you wanna see more content, definitely comment. And if you wanna pick up any of these items, the link will be in the description below. This was a one take, I hope I did good. This is my bum bag 2.0. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day, friends. Derped.